All right, this is 1212 Clovis. We are on a pretty uh, pretty serious incline here. Pretty pretty good hill. Very pretty steep. Looks like there's some um, apartment houses up here at the top. Neighborhood seems decent. Clean streets, pretty much for the most part. But yeah, this is definitely a pretty serious hill coming up here. We have. Um, we'll go around this way. We have a gravel gravel parking space here. Roof on the front looks okay. Looks like nice and flat roof. Don't see any holes or anything. Shingles look like they may be a few years old, but yeah. Gas meter here on the side looks fine. Um, she said the house was vandalized. They took pretty much all the copper and all the wiring. So, um, and uh, we're missing that outside outside HVAC unit there. Looks like we have um, metal windows, pretty much metal windows all around. Backyard has the hill in the backyard also. Kind of, yeah. Um, there is a bit of flat space on this half of the backyard and a little cement patio. So there is room for, you know, like picnic tables, stuff like that. A little bit of chilling space. But yeah, half the backyard's got that pretty serious hill on it. So you can see the lower level here has got a walkout back door, but it's really only this corner of the house that's kind of above ground, the rest of it's kind of underneath. You can see here's the neighbors, the backyard neighbors here. Uh, back of the roof seems decent. There is one small, very small hole right here on the very edge of the roof besides that it looks not too bad most of the shingles look like they're fine oh, we got two electric meters here because she had it split up into two units it looks like that one looks alright, the wire looks okay. This one, the wire looks a little bit old, and the outside stuff is kind of coming off a bit. But they're both running, they're both still operational. I thought these were wood windows, but they actually these front ones. These front ones, I thought they were wood, but they actually look like they might be vinyl. Now, I, you're not the only one in the house. Uh-huh. And I had one person to put a contract last week. Oh, okay, but I yeah. Said I will consider three contracts. That's a good I'm idea. Not just going yeah. to be just one person if they fall. Right, right. Go the first one. Right. Just put all my time on one person. So that person put their door last week. All right. So this is the front room here. As soon as you come in the door, front living room area. Um, then behind here we have the kitchen, and it goes continues back around to a bedroom over here. And we've got two other bedrooms. So three bedrooms on the top floor here, and a bathroom, and a living room. Kitchen. We'll go ahead and look at the bedrooms first. Here. So here's the bathroom in the hallway. It's got this old, older looking kind of tile stuff on there. Big heavy tub. The tub itself looks okay. It's just missing all the um, piping that was all ripped out there. Oh, not, not at all. So yeah, we got these sliding metal windows around most of the house. That The front window is like kind of a, I don't know, it's like, it looks like it was in decent shape. The front one in the living room could have been like vinyl, I believe, but all the rest of the windows are the sliding metal windows. 
This is the back of the bathroom there. So then we have this bedroom here, second bedroom. Sliding metal windows in here as well. The walls look fine in here. The walls look fine pretty much throughout except for the, the ripped up spots where they ripped to get the, the piping. The walls and trim looks good. There's no flooring. There is vinyl flooring underneath this uh, insulation stuff in both these rooms. And then this last bedroom walks through to the kitchen. We'll go ahead and take that. She wants, she wants to stay off the camera there, so we'll take the kitchen first. This will be the kitchen area. And the walls look decent in here as well, besides the ripped spots for the piping. There's a door out to the side there. And then over here also we have the downstairs. I'll show you this last bedroom first. So yeah, last bedroom looks good also with the walls and the trim. Um, so there's two electric boxes since it was in like two units here. This one looks a little bit older. It doesn't look like this has been ripped off, I don't think. This one looks like 50 amp. And over here, it's a couple steps down. We have another box. Which looks like it's like 30 amp. There's two 30 amp ones there. And you can see all the wires have been cut there, cut all there. These are cut, that's cut. So, yeah. Looks like it's gonna need all new wiring pretty much. Looks like they took pretty much everything there. And these are a couple steps down also. Uh, ceiling height down here is good. It is seven foot five ceiling height. So this would be the main, kind of main room with the walkout back door to the backyard. A little fireplace there. And then looks like that would be utilities, the bathroom, one bedroom, one bathroom down here in the living room. Well, plus, plus this little extra room over here with the electric box and the sump pump. I suppose that could be a bedroom as well. Um, this bedroom looks like it's got kind of fresh drywall up. Oh, wood panel on that side. This stuff's been ripped for the, for the wires. Looks like some kind of old wall heater there. Metal window. Here's the sink for the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. Wire's been ripped up in here as well. Piping ripped out there on the tub. The tub itself looks like it's in decent shape. Actually kind of looks like it'd be nice and shiny if you cleaned it up. Looks like actually ceramic tile on the floor of the bathroom here. There is a small crack in the wall here. It doesn't seem too bad and the wall's not doesn't look like it's deformed. It's not bowing out or anything like that. And then this would have been the utilities. She said they even took the washer and the dryer. Damn. Um, HVAC here. She said they took stuff out of there. They, they stripped stuff out of the HVAC here. And the water heater. They, Of course, they took the copper connections off the top. But the unit itself looks like it's in decent shape. I don't know if that can just be rewired or what. But, yeah, the unit looks good. She said that's pretty new. This would be a gas gas fireplace here, and she said um, they she also paid to have new waste new waste pipes running from the house out to the street there. In 2014, she showed me receipt stuff for that, so it's got new waste management stuff, I guess. All right, that's it.